guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from San Diego Comic-Con, and I'm standing here with Brian Volkweiss of Nacelle Company. You might know the toys that made us, and of course, Nacelle is also putting out their own toy lines now. So I wanted to chat with Brian. Let's start with, how's Comic-Con going for you, man? It was great. I mean, I've been coming here since 1999. And uh, it's a little different. Yeah, a little it's bigger. Just a little yeah, bit. just a little. Yeah. Just, you know how many times I've been here that it still blows my mind. Like, I mean, it was like one percent cosplay right. in 1999. Yeah. I think like more mind blowing. Ten percent female. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, 1999, there were no women here. <laughs> So like, even though that's obviously changed a lot, sure. like even today, cause I haven't been here since 2019, mm -hmm. like even today I'm always like, oh yeah, yeah, it's different now. It's very yeah, right now. yeah, it's, yeah. It's insane it's the and best. it's huge. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's so cool, right? The yeah. pop culture has just exploded so yeah. much. There's so many exciting things well, I don't. I used to get beaten up for this stuff. Yeah, know, like like right? the fact that like now this is cool is, it's awesome. I'm still not used to it. Yeah. 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 Well, cool. I, I just wanted to chat with you about toys, right? Because this yeah. is what we do. We love toys and stuff. And I know you guys have been putting out some amazing announcements. We're trying. You're you're creating your own toy lines yeah. now, right? Yeah. So why don't you tell us a little bit about, like, like how'd you get into this? Like, what made you want to do your own toys? So my whole career is like, and this is not an exaggeration. This is actually a pretty accurate way to make the point. I just turn hobbies into jobs. That's so That's I love stand-up cool. comedy. We did a lot of stand-up comedy. I love documentaries. We did a lot of documentaries. Mm -hmm. That all, by the grace of God, worked. Yeah. So why not make toys? I love toys. And listen, it's been crazy. Yeah. I mean, this is a full contact business. Right. Like right. when we got into stand-up comedy, like everyone thought I was crazy, but it was an, empty, an open field. Right. Like it was Comedy Central. They didn't care what we did. Right. And HBO, they didn't care what we did. So it was cool. Uh, this is very different. Uh, I bet. I bet. We, uh, so just to give you a statistic, we have bought seven copyrights. Uh, we have had like legal issues with four of them. And when I, when I say legal issues, I'll tell you what I mean. We have bought the youngest copyright we've bought is 42 years old. Oh my gosh. We yeah. bought a 70 year old copyright. These things have not been made in decades. No one talks about them. No one cares. We put out an announcement. Like these major studios start going through their files and they're like, wait a minute. That guy talked to our guy in 1981. I think we own it. Yeah. And like we bought seven copyrights. We are in four legal, like not one's a dispute. Like one's a dispute. You can probably guess which. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the other three, like I don't know how they're gonna go or not. But like literally massive companies, some yeah. of the biggest companies on earth, literally are sending letters saying, no, 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 we own that. See, that's one of those things. Licensing has always been one of those things. It's like it's so weird and confusing because you see this stuff happen all the time, and you're always like, how do how do rights work and how do people know who owns what and like sometimes some of these toy companies like what you guys are doing, putting out stuff that you just. How are they doing that? Or how is that possible? So but like, it's interesting to see you run into these challenges. Well, for me, to your point, yeah. like, you know, I was like you, you know, I would read things and be like, oh, that stinks. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Those poor people. Yeah. But I never really thought about it. Yeah. And now that, you know, the first time we got a legal notice, I was like, oh, this is horrible. The, yeah. the sky's falling. Oh, no, oh my God. What's, what are we going to yeah. do? Yeah. The second, then you get the second one. You're like, what? Then the third one, you're like, what am I gonna get for lunch? Like, you just like you you <laughs> you, just you get used to it. You like, yeah. It. I mean, that's just part of the business, right? All the legal stuff. And, I, I, mean, I guess. <laughs> By the way, can I tell you my favorite? And this of is a hard, it's hard to pick a favorite because okay. they're all crazy. Let's do it. But here's my favorite. We did a deal with a company that had a copyright. They were worried one of the big companies actually had the copyright yeah. so before they bought it they called the big company we'll call them company x okay. this is a multi-billion dollar hundred year old approximately organization okay gotcha so they literally call hey we're thinking about buying this copyright just want to make sure do do you own this company x goes through all their files they're like nope we don't own it 
The small company goes, great, cool, we're buying it. And the big company goes, good luck, have fun. They buy it, we do a deal with them, we put out an announcement, and then company X is like, nah, you know, I think we do own it. Oh no. And the company we had done the deal with said to company X, hey, we asked you, yeah. we, we had a meeting, we have this. emails, we, we own it. And the big company was like, oh, do you want to be in business with us ever again? Because oh, if you no. do, oh, no. I would forget that we told you we didn't own it. Nice. And literally, like, the whole project blew up because of that. Oh, no. Yeah. That is so terrifying. When I tell you it is a full contact sport, yeah. I've been doing, I've been in business 24 years. Right. I've been in, like, since college. Right. I have literally been, had like more legal conflict in the last year than the rest of my career combined times a hundred. That's, that's how crazy this is. is yeah. Yeah. We all, we all think as fans, like how fun it would be to make our own toys, yeah. but this is the kind of stuff we don't think about. And that's right? part of why I did yeah. the video. Cause like, yeah. I always feel at least in the beginning, whenever like we enter a new business, I always feel kind of like the geek who's now on the field, you know, like I used to be sure. in the locker room. Now I'm on the field. Like I still can't play. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I was able to get on the field. And like, I want to say to all the people in the stands, like, this is crazy. Like <laughs> you have no idea how actually crazy this is. Yeah. Stay in the stands, stay in the stands. Yeah, don't get into yeah. this. <laughs> like, Just stay God, a fan. We have the resources to deal with this. But uh, if we didn't, if we didn't have the resources we do, I mean, I think we would have packed up yeah. six months ago. Yeah. Like it's wow. that crazy, That's wild. but I do love a challenge. So, and I really do. A lot of people say that they don't mean it. Like I do yeah. like they picked the wrong guy. So like, <laughs> we'll see what happens, but holy moly. Holy yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, there's gotta be at least some exciting uplifting sides to this, right? Like what are, what are some fun Can things that you guys you? are doing? Yeah. I wake up this morning. I just get that. That's from China. Oh. These steel molds and oh. that's Wrecker's arm. That's his back arm. The factory in China. That's amazing. I'll show you that. Oh, look at that. So this is this is uh, shots of the the Robofor stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. Wrecker's back arm. Yeah, nobody sued us yet for Wrecker. Okay, I'm waiting for John. Just Deere. the Max Steel. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. John Deere. Oh, John no. Deere's like, no, no, we own Wrecker. <laughs> we own. I'm waiting. Something will happen. Oh, my um, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Listen, we're definitely making the toys. Right. Even Mattel at their worst with this topic is only saying change the name. Right. They're not saying don't make the toys. Right, right. So it, one way or another, these will be here. Right. You know, God willing, Ukraine, God willing, COVID, God willing, China course, will be here this year. But, um, but that's the joy. Yeah. The joy is like, I get an email three months ago, four months ago saying, hey, this is how much money it'll be to make the molds. Is this approved? I'm like, yes. And I don't think about it again. Yeah. And then I wake up today on my way to Comic-Con. I'll give you that again. I wake up today on my way to Comic-Con and there it is. There it They're is. making molds, like we're making toys. That's awesome. Yeah. That is the sales cool. have been great. Like that's the other thing, going back Good. to your question, so I'm not here bitching about legal matters for 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, yeah, like we're, there, people are buying them every day, like literally every day. We check the, the portal and sometimes it's two, sometimes it's 25. Like you never know, That's but right like though, right? sales are happening. It feels feeling. real. It's really it's the happening. greatest feeling in the world because with TV shows, which is I think, you know, that's my right. primary business. Right. Like, yes, you see the comments. Yes, you see the, the reviews. Uh -huh. Yes, you see the ratings. But like, you don't see people putting in a credit card. No, like nothing says I like what you're doing better than somebody being like, here's my credit card. And you're, and you're gonna be delivering like a physical, tangible, yes. real yes. thing. I yes. get it, I get yes. it. I've exactly. been there with the, the book thing. So I understand exactly what you're saying. Exactly. That's amazing. Yeah, so that's exactly it. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful feeling. My son, you know, he, he literally was sitting next to me when I saw that video. We were on the train today and he goes, is that RoboForce? Like oh, he gets it. Cool. And he's seven. Oh, that's great. So that's the joy. That's amazing. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Well, have you guys uh, announced any new things here at Comic Con? Any other lines that you can tell us about you're doing? This is not my fault. He asked a question. That's right. That's what so I do. This is not me going I... back to the legal disputes. <laughs> but I do need to answer his question honestly. Okay, let's do it. So we were going to announce something today. Oh, we no. were ready to go. Oh, no. 
And by the way, we announced that we were doing it like six months ago. Yeah. We have the prototypes here. And all of our lawyers are like, Brian, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Because oh. we got a letter from a company saying, hey, you know, 89 years ago, that guy talked to that girl. It's ours. <laughs> and we're like, mm. so I don't think we're going to show all the prototypes, but we maybe maybe a little strip tease. Uh, maybe we'll show a piece. There you go. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's cool. Well, hopefully everything works out for you guys. One way or the other. Yeah, one way or the other. Like you said, even yeah. if it's just like the name things, hopefully yeah. toys will still come, right? That's the They're thing. They're coming. There you go. We're, we're not paying. If you had any, I don't know if you know how much molds are, but I can oh. assure you we're not paying for those and not making toys. That's for another thing. I was going to yeah. say, we hear that all the time. And like as fans, you don't really quite understand. But like that stuff is very expensive. The steel molds and everything that goes into producing that stuff. If you knew what making two RoboForce figures cost, you you would, I mean, sh like if I showed you a spreadsheet yeah. and I'm like, here, dude, no bullshit. Yeah. To get from like, we're doing this to handing this to somebody. Right. If you saw what that cost, you'd be like, why are you doing this? <laughs> like, why? Yeah, why what's wrong with the TV this? business? Yeah. Like stay with the TV <laughs> business. But it's worth it for a lot of reasons yeah. but a as i said i like to turn hobbies into jobs yeah. and this is how you do it anytime you enter a new business it's always tough there's always a learning curve but my theory and i've read a lot I, again i didn't go to business school like i have no training for anything i'm doing right now <laughs> i can't even like say ceo without doing quotes but like what i've learned from reading about history and my own career like as long as you don't quit, you will succeed. There like, you, you will. Like it might not take a year, it might not take three years, it might take four. We're the biggest producer of stand-up comedy by a mile. Nothing worked for like seven years. Yeah. Like everything we did messed up for seven years, but then by year eight, it clicked. That's and now we're where we're at and I could take that money and make toys with it and fight 89 lawsuits simultaneously. <laughs> um, but yes. That's amazing. Well, that's great. Great words of wisdom, though. I love that. That's a great yeah, mantra, man. They're coming from me, yeah. so don't, uh, don't, don't take those words too seriously. No, I really appreciate all this, and it's really cool kind of getting an inside peek at, at this. And, you know, that's how I you're, feel. you're like, a I fan. Feel, I feel like yeah. I'm a third party right? in this. Yeah. Like, I'm like a witness I mean, watching it. You're a fan experiencing yes, the toy business. That's exactly so. it, yeah. And that's kind of how it was in the TV business, too. Sure. Like, I'm like, I can't believe they just wrote this check for me to make something. <laughs> like, I make a show about toys for, uh, for Netflix? Okay. Cool. <laughs> They're going to pay me? All right. That's yeah. Cool. It's like, that's, I think that's why it works. Yeah, of course. Amazing, man. Amazing. Well, where can people find out about the RoboForce stuff and order them and everything so that they know? Um, thank you for asking that because yeah. I always forget. Yeah. Um, that's a great question. This is a good guy. This, I've this, done this a few times. This is very helpful. <laughs> this is very helpful. <laughs> Go to, uh, and see, I'm looking that way to make sure I'm saying the right thing. Go to nacelle.com. No. Go to, as I was saying, don't interrupt me. Uh, go to nacellestore.com and order your Robo Forces. There's a two for one kind of deal thingy. And when the price is like, why is this $50? I can assure you the profit on that is like barely existent. Uh, plastic, very expensive. Molds, very expensive. Oh, and by the way, we're not Hasbro. So. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, the big companies versus small companies, it's another price margin thing What's that it? people well, don't yeah, think about, right? They yeah. make so much. They make so, so much. Yeah. So that, yeah, exactly. But, again, I guarantee you when Hasbro started making toys, yeah. they had the same problems we exactly. did. Exactly. They just didn't give up. Right. So that's why they're still around, and God willing, so will we. Awesome. Brian, thank you so much for this conversation. Thank this has you. been really great, man. Thank you. This is, yeah, I mean, getting to talk about this is crazy. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Well, there you go. Brian from Nacelle Company coming yeah. to you from San Diego Comic-Con. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at San Diego Comic-Con 2022. Thanks for tuning in to your premier source for all things toys, Pixel Dan. See you again.